I believe you win hands down. Herschel Walker, congratulations. Congratulations, Herschel. Chat, can I get a quick congratulations, Herschel Walker? I'm so happy for him. Can I get a congratulations, Herschel Walker? Everyone, it's very important. He, he needs it. He deserves it. I got something very fun for you all. I have something very interesting that you may like. Uh, I've been collecting some things over the last couple of days to be able to make this little segment for you all because I think it could be incredibly fun. A little mini wrap up to the uh, midterms and also a little bit of cope along the way because it always makes the W's go down even better. So a couple of days ago, we were blessed with a new W and that is Blorja number two, Electric Boogaloo. Our boy Raphael Warnock, radical liberal Raphael Warnock has won his race against Herchel Walker for uh, the Georgia Senate seat. And my boy will be in office for um until 2028. So he doesn't have to worry about a seat again for, um I guess, forever. Basically, it's literally for eternity, if you think about it. And so Warnock won and he didn't only win. He won by a pretty decent margin. He won by almost three points. And mind you, up until 2020, Georgia hasn't elected a statewide Democrat since I think the 80s. It's either the 90s or the 80s. It's been a very long time. And so you go from losing by 5, 10, 12 percent, like year after year, to eking out W's. And sometimes, and honestly, I wouldn't even say this is eking out a W. This is a genuinely very strong W by, uh, by Warnock here and a very resounding L for Herschel Walker and his team. The solid South is solid no more. It is solid no more. Uh, we're seeing a lot of the we're going to see a lot of like Sun Belt shifting. We're going to see a bunch of like uh, uh, Bible Belt shift shifting as well. Democrats are indeed making good inroads there. And I think it's a great thing, even though Democrats are not your friend. We'll talk about that later. It's good when they are able to do things that make sure Republicans won't be in office. But we're not here to just talk about the W because that's great and everything. 51 seats in the Senate. I want to talk about the L, the huge, massive L, the big dump of L that dropped on the faces of Fox News and their viewers who thought who were pumped up and hyped up thinking that they were going to sweep and Herschel was going to sweep that this erection was indeed about the people and they were going to completely body Warnock. Obviously, it didn't happen and they're really not taking it that well. Take a look at what Hannity had to say on his show about uh about this race about the massive l here take a look at this uh i think republicans have been unwilling for whatever reason reluctant resistant whatever to reason. voting early and voting by mail wow, do really? they have to get over that reluctance that resistance it's, oh my gosh i'm i was thinking to myself i was just thinking this why in the world are republicans so against mail-in voting and early voting why would they what could possibly, what possibly could have happened to have made them believe that mail-in voting and early voting is something that is bad and you should avoid, meaning that it's less likely for a lot of them to vote. They're basically pull, uh, pulling a lot of elderly and disabled voters who'd be voting for them away and forcing them to either not vote or vote in person, which is something that they can't always do. How could this be happening? Who could, who could have put this thought in their heads? It's, it's doing horrible things to the Republicans, that's for sure. It must have been a Democrat, someone who would have wanted to uh, undermine their electoral process. You know, only that type of person would tell something, who would tell people something as stupid as that. Sure, look, I mean, you, you have to play the game by the rules that are existing. Uh, that means, for, for example, if you want Generation Z voters, you've got to be on TikTok even if, in fact, in the long run, we may abolish TikTok as a Chinese communist device. <laughs> I'm sorry, that last bit on the end always gets me, always gets a little giggle out of me. I love it, personally. Chinese communist device. We may abolish TikTok as a Chinese communist device. So true. Xi Jinping simping on my epic Fortnite dance reenactment compilation on TikTok. It's the end of our goddamn republic, I tell you, I tell you what. And so, obvious, and so obviously, with an L this big, a lot of the Republicans haven't been taking it that well. Here's Laura Ingram's, um, here's Laura Ingram's reaction the second they found out that Herschel copped this huge L. But why is it that the heavily Democratic counties are always the last ones to report 
I, I mean, I, presumably they count, they count, and there are numbers, and they count. There are more people, obviously, but okay. it seems like it kind of. This is. I hate to say this hmm. is just a familiar refrain, but it's a very familiar refrain to us from. Yeah, just like oh man, that's so, who. How could, how could Milwaukee County, Atlanta, and its suburbs, which hold sixty percent of the state's population, take so long to count? Hmm. I I wonder. What could possibly be the reason? I want just so, here. Let me show you something really quick, okay? Just something like super quick. Let's just pick a little like baby county, okay? Like down here in Georgia. Here, you know what? Let's let's go here. Let's take a look. Uh, how about this one. What's that? That's three. What, this that's meme like is five thousand votes. How about this one? Oh, that's literally a, a thousand votes. How about this one? Three thousand votes. Okay. Not even two thousand votes. Not on not even a thousand votes. So I, it's really curious to me. Why in the world does this look, does this county here take count its votes so much faster than this county? I wonder. I wonder what it could possibly be. I'm not even sure what could what what it could be. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh man. Hopefully somebody figures it out soon because huh, that could really that could really tell us something about this election cycle. On top of the fact. Hey, did you see this down here? Do you see the little check mark that came up while she was that came up literally while she was talking, uh, yeah, well, et cetera. I'm going to say that that's that's where you find the people. Um, that's where they live. He's and Laura, right now, we're relying on the Associated Press to give us these numbers. And right now, the Associated Press has just given the check mark to Raphael Warnock. He's going back to the U.S. Senate as the winner of this runoff against Herschel Walker right now at 50.4 percent to Walker's 49.6. Oof. Raphael Warnock has won the runoff in Georgia four weeks. Is it just me? But like this guy looks like the the like fairy odd parents pixie version of Steve Kornacki. You know what I mean? Like this is just like Steve Kornacki who smokes too much and whose wife divorced him. <laughs> no hate to this guy. I mean, he's I mean, he he pushed back against Laura. I'm just saying it's just kind of like evil Kornacki or just, it's just like sad Kornacki. It's like depressed Kornacki, right? Dark world Kornacki <laughs> and pun punished Kornacki. Some people may say it may be even punished Kornacki. Let's take a look at what Laura Ingram had to say, because she was mad. She was mad. Also, remember this woman, Kellyanne Conway. Remember the last thing that we heard about Kellyanne Conway? Remember that? Let me enlighten you all. If you kind of forgot what she did. She this is the woman. Last thing we heard of her. She accidentally le leaked her daughter's nudes on her um, Twitter account because she found her daughter taking pictures of herself on her, on her phone. Like her daughter was taking pictures on her phone, the daughter's phone. And so she took the phone and looked through the pictures and took pictures of her daughter's pictures of her nude to keep on her phone and then accidentally shared that picture boomer style on Twitter instead of to whoever else was supposed to get that picture, I guess. Republican family values? How are you that stupid? I don't know. It was pretty bad, though, and pretty gross. We don't bank ballots early. We're going to keep Michael, losing. We didn't. This not, not, but we didn't. But we didn't do it in 2020 because everyone said don't vote early because that's corrupt. Not so, everyone. Well, yeah, uh, well big, a lot of people did people at did. the very top of the Republican Party. Yes, you didn't. people did. But Molly, and Mitch we, McConnell did give did $11 million to the effort. That's 14 million to the effort in Georgia. But where was the all hands on deck? Yet Lindsey Graham, he was there. He did a lot. Every senator should have been there. Every female senator so, should have been there. But why? I'm going to ask the question tonight. Nobody wants to talk about this. Why weren't they down there? Because they suck. Okay? I'm sorry. That's the reason. Because they all suck. I'm sorry. Mitch McConnell isn't going to get Herschel Walker votes in Georgia. He's not. I'm sorry. Trump isn't going to get Herschel Walker votes in Georgia. He lost Georgia, the first Republican president to lose Georgia since, like, I don't know, Clinton. Wait, maybe Clinton didn't even win Georgia, honestly. He's not winning. Oh, my bad. Not, not Clinton. Well, since, um, yeah, maybe Clinton. Well, Clinton's election. Um, it's been a long time. Goddamn Eisenhower? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's been a long time. Well, not nah, Eisenhower would have won. Uh, it's been a long time since a Republican hasn't won Georgia. We, we haven't seen Blorja in forever. And then you changed it. You people changed it. 
Okay, so yes, keeping your grubby little monkey paws off of the race does indeed help Walker. Walker was just a horrible candidate who beat his wife. So I'm sorry. Yes, nobody wanted to really vote for him. That on top of the fact of racism, we'll talk about that in a little bit in, in just a moment. But it's just very funny because during this election cycle, it is true. It is true that they told a lot of Republicans to stay and to keep their grubby little monkey paws, their greasy grubby little monkey paws off of... Uh, the race because it was just going to make everybody look bad. I'm sorry. It's just, he's just not going to help. This erection is indeed about the people. Ted Cruz and Lindsey Graham were the ones doing the uh, the big sh movement there, but the people who were told not to come include Lauren Boeber, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Donald Trump, you know, people who you don't really think are going to appeal to like the, the normie Republican base in the state. But, you know, Whatever, I guess. More questions asking of why Why did none of our shittiest candidates go to help our shitty candidate? I think people saying we need a new message. Let me just say something respectfully to the 49 Republican senators. Where were most of you? Why weren't you in Georgia? Few of them were, but they all should have been, gentlemen, because they should have been there at some in some form, a teletown hall oh. in person saying the following. Oh. I serve in the United States Senate with Raphael Warnock. He's a terrible senator. He doesn't represent Georgia. He's not fit to serve. He votes at Joe Biden. He voted for Inflation Reduction Act. It doesn't do that. He said nothing when they pulled out of Afghanistan. I can't believe that they, they all wanted him to pull out of Afghanistan, just so you know. Literally all of them did. Here's Marjorie bemoaning the fact that she couldn't campaign for Herschel. How McCarthy and McConnell were like... You're crazy and extreme and nobody cares about Jewish space lasers. Cringe shit like that. They should have let her talk. Let her talk. What do you guys think? I think it would be pretty great if um if Herschel just handed Marjorie the mic and just let her rip. I just want to see what she would possibly do with all that with all that uh, energy. I wonder. Yeah, let her cook. Go on, Herschel, let her cook. I want to see what she can make. Let me let you know something, Steve. I was never asked very often by the Herschel Walker campaign to come speak at any of his campaign events. Oh. They only asked me to come to maybe two, I think, two or three in my own district when he was campaigning um, all over the state running for Senate. But they only asked me a couple of times in my own district, which I find extremely insulting. Oh, my jeez. Left <laughs> right wing audio. Rightest audio, bro. They snub you. Sad. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't want her. They didn't want her around. I'm sorry. They didn't. Herschel's already crazy enough. You think that adding Mad Marjorie was going to help? Come on, Marjorie. You got to think a little better than that. But hey, listen, listen, the girls, Diamond and Silk, they have an idea. And the idea is that all of these bad things that are happening to Republicans and all of this bad PR happening to Republicans, it's it's a little too convenient. And something's a little strange why all of these Republicans keep popping up around Nazis and anti-Semites. They're going to talk to you about it. Listen to this. They've, they've been racking their brains, okay? And they're here to give us their theory. I'm wondering, is he being used? And here is why I say that. You said what he said. This is my opinion. Our opinion. He said what he said on the Alex Jones show. Right. And he had his face Cover. Cover. That reminds me of shame. That's right. So you knew, in my humble opinion, that what you was going to say was going to be off the cuff. And it was so shameful, you hid your face. Hid your like face. Like a cow. Oh, man. That's right. Now, I don't know mm. what the hell is going on, because I got to call it like I see it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on with Mr. Yee or Kanye or what. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Yee. I think what you meant to say was Mr. Pepe. I think it's what you actually meant to say. Didn't one of them die? Nah, they're vibing. I think. I think this is the same, like, diamond and silk that we remember. Mr. Yee. Also, this is, uh, this is Mike Lindell's own personal show, if you're wondering. That is his own personal show, what they were talking on. And I, this basically sums up exactly what it's like to be fed Herschel Walker as a black voter from the Republicans. Summed up in... In a way in which I have, I cannot improve on at all. So I'll just play this for you. Um, she writes, Walker's candidacy is a fundamental assault by the Republican Party on the dignity of black Americans. How dare they so cynically use this buffoon as a shield for their obvious failings to meet the needs and expectations of black voters. They hold him up and say, see, our voters don't mind his race. 
we're not a racist party. We have black people on our side too. It's just, it cuts to the bone. It cuts to the bone, bro. That on top of the fact is, it's, 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 they can't even say that, hey, our, vo our voters aren't racist. Our, our voters aren't racist. What are you talking about? Because racism actually saved Georgia. Y'all see this? Take a look at this. So this is just one person's like anecdote, but I think it's, it, it says something about the state of politic in, in Georgia. I called my parents to talk about the Georgia runoff, and my mom said she didn't like Walker just because he looks like a gorilla. So racism has saved Georgia. Just in case if, if you were wondering, racism has saved Georgia. If Herschel was white, he could have gotten way more voters, and he may have actually won, but thankfully he didn't. So race, remember, just when, you, just when you're about to say racism needs to go, oh, racism needs to go, racism needs to go, does it really... Look at the massive W's off of racism that we can get these days. It doesn't really need to go. They can do this for us. Come on. Come on. You got to cut it some slack. Was it really as bad as we thought? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of racism, but you got to hand it to him. <laughs> I would like to say this to you, okay? On top of this, all right? One of, one of the last things I want to show you that's incredibly funny, a little context for you to be able to enjoy this even more i want to give you a little background on the sean hannity stuff okay so sean hannity is going to be here and very stupidly bemoaning the fact that herschel walker lost but it's going to be a little timeline of that i would like to tell you one of the big reasons for why herschel walker was running and ran in the first place is because sean hannity propped him up sean hannity was one of the first names to be like who should run against warren nuck it should be herschel herschel walker that that guy, the great guy, cool guy. Hannity was the person behind the curtain pulling the strings to help get um Herschel Walker to run. He was there pushing him. He was on the team to be like, you got to run. You can beat him. You got to run. And this is what happened. All right. People like the Georgia Republican Party were literally watching Herschel Walker's uh, Herschel Walker's campaign, like a car that was set in neutral on a hill in San Francisco, just like rolling down the fucking street towards like a, a, like an old lady crossing the street carrying a stroller, carrying a stroller with like two newborns in it. You know what I mean? It's just like that's what they were watching. It's just like just <laughs> bad things happened. Okay, and Grandma got rolled. Grandma got ran over by a Rolls Royce. All right. Not a reindeer this time. She ain't bouncing back from this one. But anyways, yeah, he was he was the driving force about it uh, with this. So he was one of the big reasons why he lost. He like helped introduce Herschel Walker to Trump to get Trump to endorse him and help him run even more. And so, yeah, that's his guy. I found I found a clip. Herschel Walker for Senate. I like the ring of that. Will you help me draft Herschel Walker to run for Senate down in Hell Georgia? Because yeah. I happen to be very fond of him. Herschel, I love I'm kind that of guy. hoping you might consider running for high office Herschel, please. Georgia. Do we want him to run for governor or for senator? Do He's I hear literally Georgia's pushing it. Now the crop of 2022 Republican candidates just got a lot stronger tonight as football legend Herschel Walker Hell is yeah. jumping into the Georgia GOP Senate primary. Herschel's enthusiasm in the state of Georgia seems to be through the roof. People of Georgia, it's in it's your hands. It's impossible for him your to lose. Country needs you. Game time in Georgia. Herschel Walker, Herschel Walker, Lindsey Graham are live in Georgia. This man will change the Republican Party. TeamHerschel.com. 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 TeamHerschel. Team Herschel. Team Herschel. Team Herschel. Team Herschel. Team Herschel. This erection is about the people. TeamHerschel.com. 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 You've never lost an overtime game in your life, have you? Hopefully soon to be senator elect. I believe you win hands down. Herschel Walker, congratulations. Congratulations, Herschel. Chat, can I get a quick congratulations, Herschel Walker? I'm so happy for him. Can I get a congratulations, Herschel Walker? Everyone, it's very important. He, he needs it. He deserves it. GG, Herschel. Good job. Congratulations, Her Herschel. <laughs> Good luck out there, buddy. I think he'll win. He's such a, um, I think he'll win. So if you want to blame anybody for this huge, massive L, Hannity would be one of the people. Hannity connected all the strings together because he personally handpicked Herschel Walker and then freaking destroyed it. Absolutely ruined the <laughs> Republican primary for, um, uh, for Warnock's seat. He, he blew it. He, he actually picked one of the worst people to run.
there was no possible way that he'd be able to hold that seat. Okay. And I know Lindsay's mad about it. Lindsay was goddamn crying live on stream about Herschel. I'm not lying. They have treated him like crap. His family okay. stand by Herschel tonight. If you can give, give. If you know somebody that can give, ask them to do it. Team TeamHerschel.com. TeamHerschel.com, please. Please. <laughs> is he crying? Yes. He is crying. He's literally like Lindsey Graham was busting his ass for Herschel, okay? My man like bought a hotel room and was like knocking on doors for Herschel, okay? Like everywhere Herschel went, Lindsey Graham was right there doing everything possible to make sure that he won. And he flopped hard. The two people who were in the ring the most for Herschel, I think 100% were Hannity and Lindsay. Both of them were like crazy dick riding Herschel. They like needed to get plan B the way they were riding Herschel, bro. It was, it was not good. It was bad. Like they're going to like, it, it was so bad that like Herschel had to spend campaign funds to get more abortions for them. It's crazy. Here's them molding a little bit more. Watched you last night. I like it when you're pissed off, and I shared your pissed offness. I was pissed off too. Um, Republicans need to get their act together and play the ballot game like the Democrats do, or, you know, they can't go into every election down 500,000 votes. Ah, the election, you know, the ballot game. You guys know that ballot game that uh, Democrats do where they talk to their voters and then the voters of a state give them more ballots than they give the Republicans that like a weird ballot thing that they always do. We should do that sometime. Yeah. Well, here, at least McCarthy, he won the angry. house, Grr. but everyone else True. has to make a case as to why they deserve like, you know, and I, I like Ronna McDaniel a lot. I've said that I like her. She's a great person and great, great, great woman. But Ronald McDonald I mean, you do house? have to make the case as to why you actually <laughs> deserve to get reappointed. I mean, a college basketball coach, would have already lost his job with this record. So, you know, we're, we're going to apply at least the same standards to this as that. So, so true. So true. But this is, uh, this, is the, this is the end of the road for a lot of the Trump candidates. It really genuinely is just the end of the road. The, the L's have started to pile up in a way that they can't even ignore anymore. Tudor Dixon in Michigan, Bullock, New Hampshire, Mastriano, Pennsylvania, Oz in Pennsylvania. Michael's in Wisconsin. Carrie Lake is over. Masters is over. Walker is over. L after L after L. The L train. We're going to be winning. We're going to be winning so much. You're going to be like, please, please, Mr. Trump. Can we stop winning? Is this what winning looks like, Mr. Trump? Is this? Please, Mr. Trump. Just one W, Mr. Trump. Please. The red wave. Yeah, the, the red wave is going down the damn drain. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Doug El Triano. Fuck you, nerd. Yeah, it's the end of the road. You hate to see it. They also have piled up in a way that they can't imagine. Um, you can only live in fiction land for so long until it comes back to bite you. Uh, you can only tell these people in your audience that they shouldn't vote. Everything is stolen. Everything's against you. It doesn't even matter. Like Donald Trump and like other people were telling people over and over again, literally just not to vote. And people like Charlie Kirk were also telling everybody that they could just not to vote because they can't imagine people voting in the system where apparently everything's stolen and uh, 27 years after the, uh, the election is over, it's just going to be trickle ballots until real. they win because that's because I guess goddamn like Nancy Pelosi flies down and like opens her legs and starts to like just dump Democrat ballots from her pussy or something. That's where they all come from, I guess. I don't know. And that's why all the voting machines took so long to count because they're all so soggy and wet. They had to dry them off on clothes racks on the clothesline before they put it through the machine to count. That's why it took so long to count. That's what's going on. It's just it's just stupid. And it's funny in the sense because it comes back to bite them, but it's not funny in the sense that they're like literally undermining, undermining our entire election process for their own personal gain. It's horrible. It's very stupid. And everybody told them that this was a horrible decision, but they decided to still go with it anyways. They decided to continue with it anyways. And now they're like reaping what they sow, bro. Me sowing. <laughs> Me reaping. You see, 
It's interesting. I actually assumed incorrectly that if you take time to watch this program, thank you, that you would also just automatically vote. Turns out there's a fair portion of you that are completely done and that are willing to voice that opinion. Holy, can you imagine that? I tell people we're at war, everything's stolen, we can barely win, in close races they'll always win, so what's the point? Because of the Pelosi pussy ballot thing that I talked about earlier, you remember that? I can talk about it again if you want. How is this possible? How can you guys not vote? Listen, one more bad batch, guys. Guys, one, guys, one more, one, it's just one more bad batch and then she'll win. It's literally one more. It's impossible. They don't have any more votes. He, she can't, she literally can't keep getting more votes. It's impossible. <laughs> one more bad batch, guys. Come on. Do we have that Laura Ingram clip that we guys pulled? And guys. I just want to say, I do sympathize with being upset with the Republican Party and not totally trusting the system, but not participating at all guarantees the other side to be able to play games. And if everything was broken and lost, how did we win the House of Representatives? If everything is Pelosi, you want me to say, well, I can't really say Pelosi anymore. Well, that often because when January comes around, she's not going to be the um, she's not going to be gabble girl anymore. She's there. Uh, she's relinquished her gabble. And so like Pelosi is just going to be some woman. I, don't know, I guess we can still say Pelosi sometimes as a treat. Broken and lost. How did Ron Johnson, who stood up against the pharmaceutical company, Ron win Johnson. in Wisconsin? If everything was broken and lost, yeah, but they just how did didn't Ron cheat DeSantis win by 17 votes? How it's did because we win they, the House by asleep. getting wins in California and New York? We won the House through Oregon, California, New York. I'm not... I, this, I was in the movie 2,000 Mules. I sympathize with all of the sentiment. Ah. Remember, 2,000 Mules is about how... The Democrats trafficked millions and millions of votes across the border on the backs of 2,000 mules across the Rio Grande to steal the 2020 election, if you remember. And so, you know, <laughs> if you wonder why their audience doesn't like voting anymore, <laughs> because things weren't, like, things weren't like this before. All of this cements my theory that conservatives don't believe in history past 2016 anymore. They literally just don't. They don't remember anything pre-2016. When Obama, Obama was in office, old people were the ones who were voting by mail the most, not young people. You know why? Because old people didn't want to get up from their like crusty seats and, and go to vote. They just wanted to go vote and then make some more oatmeal and fall asleep while they were halfway done through their like uh, crossword puzzle. That's what they want to do. And so instead of going out to vote, they, they, um, they voted by mail. Nobody cared about voting by mail. Still, people don't care about, well, people didn't care about voting by mail until Donald Trump came around to make it a political issue. These things were just normal, commonplace things that we all used to do until you guys made it a political issue. I'm sorry. Getting a shot wasn't a political issue until you came around. Getting, like, voting by mail wasn't a political issue until you came around. Literally nothing changed. The rules have barely changed. The rules that conservatives put into place when it came to voting by mail are now the ones that the same Republicans are trying to take away because it's because they think now they say that it's fraud. It's not fraud. They know it's not fraud, but they want the good boy brownie points that we're saving the world by their constituents because now they've been told by talking heads and orange man that uh, that voting by mail bad voting early bad drop box is bad because like Nancy Pelosi will come down to the, I promise I'm, this one won't be that bad. We'll come down to the state. Okay. And then open up the, uh, no, oh, like open up the gullet of like Hakeem Jeffries or something. Goddamn like hungry, hungry hippo style and pour it down his throat. Um, and then he'll spit back up all of the Democrat votes while he'll devour the Republican ones. It's just, what the hell is happening? What are you talking about? Everything was perfectly fine until you all came around. I swear, bro. We didn't have polio outbreaks until you all came around. I swear, like, Republican districts are actually having little mini outbreaks of, like, the Black Plague and polio. Kids are being put back into polio wheelchairs these days. People shouldn't have gotten polio ever since, like, FDR was around. What are you talking about? Why are we kids going back in the iron lungs? Give them shots. Nothing was, nothing was like this until they decided to pull this for their own political gain. And it's all come back to bite them. And they all deserve it as well.
The only bad thing is that the same thing that happens every single time to their constituents and their viewers will happen here, where they're the ones that are going to suffer. Well, actually, I can't necessarily say that anymore because they're not going to suffer because since they didn't vote, they got a Democrat in the office, which is more likely to give them like actual help and support that they need. So I, it was like and it, inadvertently he helped these people out, but not the way that he wanted to. Thoughts actually are not as important. You can have very angry thoughts towards the system. It oh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, Charlie Kirk's kind of an anti-hero, right? Now think about it. Sean Hannity and um, Sean Hannity, Donald Trump, and Charlie Kirk are all anti-heroes of the 2022 midterm election cycle. They're all the anti-heroes because Charlie Kirk, even though he didn't mean to, did good by helping Mark Kelly and Katie Hobbs have easy like election opponents. And Hannity did the same thing with Warnock for Herschel and Trump did the same thing for Fetterman with Oz. So honestly, honestly, they're kind of the, they're the real heroes of the story. Now that you think about it, yo, fuck people who went to go knock on doors, lame shit like that. <laughs> loser shit, donating loser shit. OK, these guys did everything they needed to buy, uh, giving these people clout and money from their shows. So many W's. It is actions that I will instead address. You could say, oh, this system is corrupt. It's terrible. I'm going to go vote. Fine. You've done the right thing. You have not allowed your thoughts to manifest into what I would consider to be an immoral action. Someone says, Charlie, I thought, I thought you were kidding when you said people weren't voting until you read these emails. No, you should see. I'm reading them on air. And by the way, I'm tweeting out some of these emails so you could see them yourself. Boy, I'm yourself. tweeting. Anybody up manifesting their The thoughts? MAGA movement is committing suicide in front of our very eyes because Based. of, and if you extrapolate that, that means there, and we see it in the numbers, we see in the data, millions of people that have said we are no longer going to vote. I love it when the MAGA movement commit suicide but not the people i do not want the people of the mega movement to commit sewer slide I, I want them to do negative sewer slide but when their movements like giga sewer sliding i'm i'm laughing to the bank some people may even say like ha 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 you know maybe even like ha 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 i will say it's very funny very last thing we'll do here is that we're going to be playing a based clip by fox news OK, some of you may be saying, Shark, Fox News can't be based. And I let me tell you, you're wrong. And you can't you can't be like, but did they have somebody on who said something based in spite of Fox News? No, it's a longtime contributor who finally got her wits about her and went back to sort of like normie pre 2016 Republican. You know, she kind of snapped out of the hypnosis. She snapped out of the haze. OK, she left the matrix. She pulled the goddamn plugs out the back of her head. She, she took out the mind control Neuralink chip. All right. And now she's free, free as a bird. Look at what she has to say about it. To myself, everyone's talking about this as if it would have changed the election. Right. How, how close to the election are we talking about? So October 14th, that's when the story comes out. October 16th, it's back online. So 48 hours there. Just, in, just to make sure, she's talking about the Hunter Biden clip, uh, the Hunter Biden laptop memes, all right? So a lot of people were saying that this is the reason why, uh, like, Republicans lost in 2020 is because they weren't able to look at pictures of Hunter Biden's erect throbbing cock, um, and that would have really changed the election for their, um, <laughs> in their favor, I guess. And so she finally got her, she finally woke up, okay? She woke up from the, she is no longer a sheeple. She has escaped the shepherd. And she's running free. She's running in the fields free. Freedom is beautiful. And she gets to use it like this. Within the first eight days of the story being out in the wild, there was an article about it on Facebook that had 54 million views. That's a big. lot of views. Yeah. It was dominating the discourse. Axios put out a survey discourse. saying that the Hunter Biden saga was what was dominating the political scene there. And now we're still in the early voting window even. We're not even close to election day. The Jim Comey letter came out 11 days before the election. Think about this, how much more time there is for this. I cannot stand watching conservatives, like Kevin McCarthy was doing it this weekend, soon to be Speaker of the House, talking about how this is about the First Amendment. Joe Biden was not an elected office. He was a candidate. 
and what his team, according to the Matt Taibbi files, and I think it's in tweet 10 where we're talking about this, what they wanted taken down, the links that he provided, were pictures of his son's penis. Oh, now, no. You tell me as a parent, there are parents at the table, people have run for office. Mm -hmm. If God so it wasn't about the 10% for the big guy. No, well, it wasn't. Then show me the link about right. that. But the link that I saw was about Hunter Biden's junk. Well, that's really pathetic. Not, no, it? yes, really. And that does She's matter. She's mad. It's not about the first She's Amendment. She's got the pen. And he also it, said don't hide behind his that, junk. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how big it is. How could I? Right. Uh, She's got jokes, uh, too. Can I just say something, though? Taibbi also admitted that the Trump campaign asked for content moderation. Yes. And then he left those links out. Why Oof. did he not tell us what the actual government was asking to have taken oh, down no. when you're telling us what Joe Biden's team asked to be taken down? And by the way, that's a violation of the, the terms bias? of service. That's not even a favor. That's someone pinging someone at Twitter and saying, hey, this is revenge Wait, porn. Say, I mean, well, maybe when, when Trump Trump they're mad. Did you see that? <laughs> but the Democrats. <laughs> she's she's literally destroying them. God, she's like ripping and tearing until it is done. They're like jumping at her, nipping at her heels, and she's just punting them off into the distance. She's gone. She's gone crazy. Okay, she took off the shot collar, and she's no longer under their control. You love to see it when you're able to leave the matrix. You love to see it when a s s strong woman. We love strong woman here, isn't that right, chat? We do love and in, uh, indeed love ourselves a strong woman. Would you look at that? I love it. I love it. But yes, this is the cringe cycle going on again. Conservatives have now their three days of self-reflection where they go, are we the baddies? Is that why we lost? Is that really it? Until they completely forget and then jump on the culture war bandwagon. Trans people are trying to transify your child. Books are turning your kid gay. Um. Uh, Peppa the pig is going to remove your uh, baby girl's ovaries and uh, Joe Biden is going to make your um, uh, son a twink. Et, that's that's basically going to be it. Yeah, she did leave the Republican plantation. You are right. She did finally leave the Republican plantation. She she listen. All right. She knows why the cage bird sings. And boy, she's singing. Boy, she's singing. <laughs> Well, that's what we got to, well, that, that's, that's, uh, that's basically it. A lot of cope, a lot of cringe. Do not look at Hunter Biden's nine and a half inch penis. I've been told that that's how big it is. I haven't looked myself. That is revenge porn. And that's very bad. Um, call your local conservative cringe soon. All right. That's very important to make sure that they remember their place. You know, you don't want, you don't want people like them to forget their place. All right. <laughs> Don't don't get don't get too antsy, all right? And we work to make uh, the world a better place. You love to see it. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.